there, Melanie from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium here. Thanks for joining us today for On the Water. Here at CMA, we believe in preserving our marine life and environment through leadership in research, education, rescue, rehabilitation, and release. Let's join Carrie to watch a net pull aboard our Sea Life Safari, one of our daily boat excursions. because these animals are wild. There's no guarantee we'll see them. In fact, we don't see them on every trip. There it is. <laughs> now, as you remember, <laughs> so what do you guys think? If this dolphin's coming up and it looks like it's diving back down, what, what could we hypothesize? We don't know for sure. What could we hypothesize this dolphin might be doing? Eating, maybe. That sounds like a good answer to me. We know there's a lot of fish nearby, right? We pulled up one of their favorite fish, which you'll see once we get done looking at the dolphin. So take a second, look at the dolphin, and let me know if you have any questions, all right? So this fish is probably what the dolphin was foraging for. It's called a pinfish. Well, this fish gets its name pinfish because there are 12 needle-sharp pins on their dorsal fin. So the fin on the back of their body, there are 12 incredibly sharp pins. Why would a dolphin who is so incredibly smart will want to eat a fish that has 12 pens. And how in the world would they do that? Well, they must really like it. It must be worth the effort. Because what these animals will do is if they don't catch the fish head first to begin with, they'll throw the fish up into the air. They'll do whatever they have to. They'll smack the water to stun the fish. They'll do whatever they have to do to catch the fish and swallow it head first. Because then those pins lay down nice and flat and they won't get stuck in their throat. And then our next fish we're going to show you is going to be the catfish. Catfish, they have whiskers too. They also have protrusions on the bottom. Um, these, are, these structures are known as barbels. And these barbels have receptory organs. This animal has wine green eyes. Their body kind of looks like a mantis, a praying mantis. But this shrimp, if you accidentally got one of these in a, a thing of live rock to your saltwater aquarium at home, could punch through the glass if it wanted to. It has the ability to create such a strong punching motion that it actually creates heat in the water from this. They belong to a group of family called, what do you anybody remember? Crustaceans, right? Sea urchins are almost identical to sea serves. They just don't have the actual legs sticking out. Everything they have, that division of five, they have it inside. So it's like a piece of pizza cut into five equal pieces. There are five stomachs, there are five reproductive organs and sirens. Most people think that sea urchins are toxic. Why am I letting you touch this one? It's not toxic. These guys are completely not toxic. You're welcome to touch it. If you really like these, you're welcome to go to our touch tank at either location. Touch some more of these, touch some hermit crabs, since I know you couldn't touch my past crab. All kinds of stuff you can touch in those touch tanks. All of that stuff comes from the sea life safari. Those animals spend a couple weeks with us and then I bring them back home. So again, my name is Carrie. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you have a great trip. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another episode of On the Water. 
To watch more episodes, visit us at www.seawinter.com slash on the water. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook to get a sneak preview of each new episode.